Hi everybody, welcome to the Yonkers Insider Report. This is Delphi Musil, editor and publisher of the Yonkers Insider newspaper. I'm happy to have uh, as my guest uh, Ivy Reeves, Democrat running for Yonkers mayor. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, Delphi, for having me. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Let's uh, let's uh, have a couple questions for you. Okay. But, but, uh, tell us tell us a little bit about yourself, about your bio. Okay, so. Um, I'm originally from Birmingham, Alabama, so I grew up during the Civil Rights Movement. And then I moved to um, Liberty, New York. So, like, in the South, you know, in Birmingham during that time, I, it was all segregated. And then I moved to the Catskills. So, you know, my background has been like a culture shop, where I went from, you know, being all black to being the only chocolate chip in the milk. So, you know, which I had a lot of cultural um, experiences. So I feel that... Um, I have a real good connection with many different people. So, um, and that's one of the things that I really like about my life, the fact that I've experienced so many different things and have a connection with so many different ethnicities and religions and races of people, so, you know. Let's uh, talk about your, um, what, 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 what do you hope to uh, bring as our next junk as mayor? So I think that um, as a mayor, I think of a mayor as being um, the head of a household. You have six children, and those six children are the six districts that we live in. And when you have six children, anyone who has children know that even though you try to say, oh, I love all my children equally, that's what your job is to do, is to make sure that no child feels like one child has an advantage over the other. So if you do treat one child better than the other, you're going to get dysfunction. And here's the dysfunction that you're going to get. You're going to get... Um, one child acting out, whether it's negative or positive, they're always going to be looking for attention from that, from that, um, that family member. And then you have other children that will just be reclusive. You won't even see them. They'll be invisible. You don't even know they're there. And then you'll have those that will look at what's happening and say, I'm going to beat the crap out of this one because they're always getting more than me. They're going to get more, more, um, more uh, what do you call it, allowance. You know, they're getting more, um, you know, visits for the recitals, better clothes, what have you. So I look at a mayor as being um, the head of a household. And you cannot, every single district has its own special needs. But at the same time, there are so many things that we may have in common that maybe by sitting down and having people from each of those groups come in and say, well, here's one thing that you can take care of. We're not talking the big the big plated uh, things like the main dinner, the main course, which mm -hmm. is um, education, jobs, and um, you know, uh, affordable housing. Because affordable housing in Yonkers is very interesting because um, I remember one developer said, well, you know, hey, if you can afford to live there, it's affordable. You know, and that's not the way mm -hmm. we want to live. We want people who live in Yonkers to be able to afford to stay in Yonkers because this is where they were born and raised and they want to stay here. So, you know, that's what I think of as being a mayor. So you have to be open, mm -hmm. and you have to be able to listen. And as a mayor, I think that it will be important for the mayor to have a very close relationship with the city council members. Mm -hmm. I think that um, when city council members leave, like their term is up, what I've seen from the years that I've been in city council is that no one talks to the other person. So if I'm leaving, and you got elected and you're coming in, I need to be able to tell you, Delphin, this is what I've been working on in this district. Mm -hmm. Here what the people here in this district are very passionate about. I need you to continue that. I started working on something with this group or in that neighborhood or whatever, mm -hmm. and I need you to continue that. Communication is key. And if we don't have communication, it's very chaotic. You know, no, the, the, the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. Okay, I'm gone, I'm done, I did my time, see you later, bye-bye. You know, it's a continual thing. If you love the city and you really care about the people that live here, you're going to continue to be involved. I'm not saying you have to be as involved as you were mm -hmm. when you were elected because you still have a life. You know, you want to get back to your family, your grandkids, you know, your children, whatever it is. I understand that. But you just can't drop the ball and just leave, you know. I think it's the communication and the connection for me is extremely important. Well, I want to thank you for coming on our show. Mm -hmm. uh, in, this, in these last few minutes, you can uh, tell the, talk, talk to the Yonkers mm -hmm. voters. Okay. Any, any information about your campaign, how they can volunteer on your campaign, uh, yes. how, how to access your campaign, it's yours. I, I believe you still have until 
um, the end of this month of May to register to vote in the primary, which is going to be on uh, June 25th. I need everyone to come out. You got to um, show up and show out for this. The only real key to uh, change and the changing the status quo is for you to get out and come out and vote. I mean, don't just continue saying, well, we want change. Oh, everybody's doing the same thing. I get it. But now you're going to have to really show up. If you haven't had any power before, show them that you can disconnect the machine yourself. The machine is not the machine unless the people allow it to, to continue being plugged in. So please come out. I have some fundraisers I'd like for you guys to, uh, to attend May 17th at Brady's and um, June 7th at the Royal Regency, which is the Prince event. Okay? So I guess that's it. Just come on out and, um, and let your voices be heard. Don't be cynical, you know? I mean... Please, I'm not even charging that much for my fundraiser. So come out and let's have some fun, guys, really. Thank you for coming on, Ivy. Thank you, Delphine. And, and, and thank you so much for everybody listening on the Yonkers Insider Report. You can always uh, go on my website, www.yonkersinsider.boxbark.com, where we cover the city of Yonkers and the county of Westchester daily. Thank you so much for listening to the Yonkers Insider Report on Public Access Channel, and have a great day.